Wow. I come through Washington, New Hampshire a lot. It's on my way to Manchester, and every time I come to the stop sign that's right over there, my heart melts a little. This has got to be the most adorable building in the state of New Hampshire. This is the Shed Free Library. Style is high Victorian. In fact, in a town that is noted for its colonial architecture, this is the only Victorian public building here. Shepard S. Woodcock, don't you love the name, of Boston, designed the building, 1881. It was a gift to the town of Washington from one Lumen T. Jeffs, J-E-F-T-S, who grew up here. Mr. Jeffs attended Tubbs Union Academy in town, went off to tour Europe and California, and finally to make a lot of money manufacturing shoes in Hudson, Massachusetts. He loved this town. The library, however, is 14 years older than the library building, and the original benefactor is where it gets its name, the Sarah Shedd Library. Sarah Shedd was born here, 1813, second of four children, went to Mount Holyoke Seminary in South Hadley, Massachusetts, and studied under the famous Mary Linden. Her life was rich and her future was rosy, and then her dad died, age 45, and suddenly there was no money. And Sarah took on the support of her family and her mother. She went to Lowell to work in the mills. She worked in the mills in Maine for a while. She taught school in the summertime. She wrote articles and had poetry published in the Lowell Offering magazine. That was a publication written and sold to the factory girls. She herself could not continue her education, but the money she made went to the education of her youngest brother, Joseph. And finally, she came home here to Washington, where she taught school until her death at the age of 54, 1867. She never married. She cared for her mother till her mother's death in 1860. And boy, did she save her money. In the end, she had accrued $2,500, a lot of money at the time. And she gave it to the town and founded a library. And this is it. Lovely.